All right, let's do it. Let's go to the t first tab. Enough talk. I want to see some action here. All you do is talk, man. Okay, here we go with the action. We got the vendor uh, information. I'm going to go into, uh, let's do it with a check form. So I'm going to say the bank that we're paying, let's say is Chase. So let's type in Chase. I think we put that in earlier. I'm just making up a, a bank name that we're going to be paying. It's coming out of the checking account, tab, tab. Let's say the date is at the beginning of the month. So I'm going to say, let's go February, February 020123. So the beginning of the month. And then the 16th, the check number should be populating properly now. So that's good. I'm not going to print the checks for the practice problem. Down here, we're going to say, okay, here's where it happens here. So I'm going to see if they have a, an account for interest expense. Interest. I'm just going to type in interest. And notice they have this interest paid expense type of account. I don't like the name interest paid because you could have interest that you didn't pay that's still an expense on an accrual basis. I would rather it be called interest expense. So I might change it, but that's being a little picky. I'm not going to create another account called interest expense because I don't like the fact that they called it interest paid because then I'm going to have two accounts that are sounding like interest and then I'll mess myself up by posting to both of them. So I'm going to do that and then I'll fix it if I don't like the name of that account. And so then you might want to put in the description like first payment or something like that because that might help you to tie it into the amortization table. Now the interest is coming from here. That's the 300. So there's the 300. I don't need a billable or a customer. And then the other side is going to go to the loan payable. Loan payable account. There it is. And then I'll just call it first payment. And that's for the amount of the 105.873. So one, oh, remember that. Don't forget 1058.73. All right. And then the total comes out to the check of 135.873. And that's the total 135.873. Mui B to the B to the N. So what's this going to do? It's a check. It's going to decrease the checking account by the by the 135.873. Seven, three. It's going to have an interest expense on the income statement of 300 and the loan's going to go down by 1058.73, bringing the balance of the loan to 70,941.27. That's what should happen at least unless someone unless someone told me the wrong number when I put that in here and they told me the wrong number. So that'd be their fault and not my fault. So let's go ahead and save it and close it and then we'll check it out. And then we'll go into the tab to the right and run it again run it and then we'll go into the to the to the cash account and we're in february february and so there it is <clears throat> so there's that amount that looks that looks good movie be in and then we're going to go back the other side on the expense side of things we got the 300 dollars in february now see how we got january and february isn't that cool yeah, it is. I know. I know it's cool. But anyways, so here's the interest. Now, sometimes you might want to put the interest down here into like other because sometimes you might think of interest as not being like part of your normal operations. It's a financing thing. So we might just change it to, to put it down here just so you can see what that looks like. And I might change the name at some future point as well. But for now, we can see there it is. $1,058. 